Thousands of ranchers are watching their profits walk away, one thin cow at a time. And the worst part is, they think they're doing everything right. You provide the best pastures you can. You ensure they have clean water. You might even supplement with protein during the dry season. Yet some of your cattle just stay thin. They seem to eat well, but they lack that deep, full-bodied condition you see in prize-winning herds. Your conception rates might be lower than you'd like, with too many open cows after the breeding season. And their calves? They just seem to lack that initial burst of vitality. Have you ever experienced this on your own ranch? It's a frustrating and costly mystery. You're doing what you've always been taught, but the results just aren't there. The answer, for so many producers, isn't in the grass, the protein, or the water. It's in what's missing. We all talk about protein. We obsess over energy values in our feed. We make sure there's always a salt block available for them to lick. These are the big three, the pillars of cattle nutrition we learn from day one. But what if I told you there's a master mineral? a silent partner in every single energy transaction inside your cattle's body that is routinely and disastrously forgotten. That mineral is phosphorus. It may not sound as exciting as protein, but let me explain it this way. Think of the energy from grass, hay, and grain as money in a bank account. It's incredibly valuable, but you can't use it to buy things directly from the bank you need to withdraw it as cash first. Phosphorus is the essential component of a tiny molecule in the body called ATP, or adenosine triphosphate. ATP is the cash of the body. It is the universal currency of energy for every living cell. Without enough phosphorus, your cattle can have a bank account full of energy from all that feed, but they can't convert it into cash to spend on building muscle, producing milk, growing a healthy fetus, or even just maintaining their own body temperature. The cow eats, but her body literally cannot unlock the full potential of the food, so she stays thin. She doesn't have the energy reserves to cycle properly and get bred back. Her calf, which depends on her milk and the minerals passed through it, gets a slow start in life. And here's the most dangerous part the reason why this problem is so widespread. Almost nobody realizes it's happening until the damage is severe. The problem is that the very land we rely on is often the source of the deficiency. Many soils around the world, particularly in tropical and subtropical grazing regions where a huge portion of the world's beef cattle are raised, are naturally poor in phosphorus. This means the grass, the hay and silage that grows on that land is also poor in phosphorus. As grasses mature, get stemmy, and dry out, the phosphorus content drops even further. So that standing hay you're relying on in the dry season is likely providing very little of this critical mineral right when your cows need it most to maintain condition. So how can you know if this invisible thief is stealing profits from your herd? The signs are subtle at first, but become devastatingly clear over time. The first, as our title suggests, is poor body condition. Cattle that just won't flesh out, even with access to what seems like plenty of forage. The second, and perhaps the most economically damaging, is poor reproductive performance. Low conception rates, cows that take longer to rebreed after calving, or a high number of cows that don't cycle at all. Phosphorus is absolutely essential for fertility. Without it, the reproductive system simply doesn't have the energy to function correctly. A third, very classic sign is a condition called pica. This is when you see cattle chewing on things they shouldn't be. They'll chew on old bones they find in the pasture, lick dirt or gnaw on fence posts and wood. This isn't just a quirky habit. It's a desperate, instinctual attempt by the animal to find the phosphorus its body is screaming for. If you see this in your herd, it's not a curiosity, it's a massive red flag. And here's the single biggest, most common mistake that well-meaning ranchers make, the one that allows this problem to persist for generations on the same land. They put out a plain white salt block, 
and they believe their mineral needs are covered. They are not. A plain salt block provides sodium and chloride. That's it. It's like eating only bread and expecting to get all your vitamins. Salt is absolutely vital, don't get me wrong, but it does absolutely nothing to address a phosphorus deficiency. The same goes for many of the common trace mineral blocks, which are often 95% salt with just a tiny amount of other minerals thrown in. So, what is the solution? How do you fix this and unlock the true potential of your herd and your land? It's simpler than you might think. First, you need to provide a balanced mineral supplement, not just salt. The key here is the word balanced. You're looking for a complete mineral mix that specifically contains a significant amount of phosphorus. The most important thing to look at on the feed tag is the calcium to phosphorus ratio. For most grazing cattle, the ideal ratio of calcium to phosphorus in the total diet should be somewhere between 1.5 to 1 and 2 to 1. This means for every one part of phosphorus, there should be about one and a half to two parts of calcium. Why is this ratio so important? Because these two minerals work like partners. If you provide way too much calcium in a supplement, it can actually interfere with and block the absorption of the phosphorus you're trying to provide. A good mineral company formulates their products with this critical ratio in mind. Second, the way you provide the mineral matters immensely. Forget the hard-pressed blocks. While they are better than nothing, consumption can be very inconsistent. Timid cows get pushed away by bosses, and some animals simply don't lick them enough to get what they need, especially if their teeth are worn. The best practice, supported by decades of animal science research, is to offer a high-quality, loose mineral supplement provided free choice in a covered mineral feeder. A loose mineral allows each and every animal to consume exactly what her body tells her she needs, day in and day out. A good feeder protects it from rain, which can turn an expensive mineral supplement into a hard, useless brick. For small herds, a single, simple covered feeder is a fantastic investment. For larger operations, you'll need several feeders, strategically placed near water sources, in shady loafing areas, and in high traffic pastures to ensure every animal has easy access. Think of it as an investment, not a cost. The price of a good mineral program is a tiny fraction of the value of just one extra calf, or the added weight on your entire calf crop, or the savings on vet bills from healthier, more resilient animals. You will see the return in heavier weaning weights, in higher conception rates, and in the simple, beautiful sight of a herd of slick, healthy, well-conditioned cattle. So the secret that so many ranchers are missing isn't a magic feed or a fancy new technology. It's about getting back to the basics of biology. It's about understanding the silent foundational role of phosphorus. It is the spark that turns feed into life, into muscle, and ultimately into profit for your operation. If this information was valuable to you and you want to be part of a community dedicated to smarter, more profitable ranching, please help us grow. First, hit that subscribe button below. We release practical, science-based videos like this every single week, designed to give you the tools you need to succeed. Second, leave a comment. Have you ever struggled with thin cattle or low breed-up rates? or perhaps you have a phosphorus success story to share from your own ranch. Your experience and your questions help everyone in this community learn and grow. And finally, please share this video with just one other rancher you know. That single share could be the piece of information they need to solve a problem they've been fighting for years. Because here, we're not just raising cattle. We're raising the standard for ranching, together. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.